started then? Are we ready to start, Dean? You're good to go. All right, so uh, welcome everybody. It is April 2nd, 2020. We are starting the special meeting of the US 290 School Board. Um, it is 12 o'clock. Um, we're gonna call this meeting to order. We currently have um, six board members present. Um, let's just go ahead and go through a roll, roll call real quick so we know who is here. Um, Mrs. Payne? Here. Mr. Wingert? Here. Mrs. Alderman? Present. Mrs. Ward? Here. Mrs. Olmstead? Here. Uh, I'm here, Julie Dandrio, Mr. Cunningham? And he is not present at this time. He may call in. We'll, we'll add him in if he does. Um, at this time, we'll call this meeting to order with six board members present. Present, go ahead and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm going to have to exit my car to stand, so somebody else go ahead and get us started on the pledge. I'll get us going. I pledge Thank allegiance you. to the flag of the United <laughs> States of America, America. to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, it's windy out there. Okay, um, uh, we need a motion to approve tonight's agenda, which you've been presented. So move. So move. Oh, all second. Right. All right, uh, all in favor, please say yes. 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 All opposed? All right, that passes 6-0. Um, we only have one agenda item today. That is to uh, make take action on approving our state-required continual learning plan waiver that Dr. Cobbs presented to us this past week for our review. Um, Dr. Cobbs, what would you like to tell us on that before we take action? Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that one, um, everybody's been able to see it. There's been a lot of work and, and Mrs. Bybee, Mr. Robinson, um, and all of our principals and our staff have, have put in a lot of work to try to, to make this thing a, as great as possible and, and create some guidance uh, for our buildings as they continue to move through this. Um, the, there are two different components. One is the waiver, which has portions of the USD 290 continuous learning plan. That waiver is the piece that we have to submit to KSDE for approval of, of not meeting the required hours. All four components that you see in board docs will be sent to KSDE as a part of that waiver though. So you will see that the full uh, 290 learning plan as well as the special education documents and uh, expectations for that as well as the, the um, examples of continuous learning plans uh, throughout our district. So there's some, I think, from first grade, from second grade on up the, the chain so that the, the State Department of Education can see what it is that we're trying to accomplish at each grade level moving forward. Uh, but the waiver is the, is the thing that, uh, that really has to be approved by the board. All of those facets uh, and different components will be a part of that waiver overall. But this is a requirement from KSDE in order for us to meet the minimum hourly requirements uh, moving forward. But you all should have seen it. You should have had it for about a week and it's been on board docs for the last few days. Are there any questions about any of the documents that we have? I don't have any questions, but I've been thinking, I really would like to tell Mr. Robinson what a great job he did because he has so many facets to cover. And uh, I, I thought he, it was really well done. Yeah. Certainly the most difficult part of this is gonna be um, meeting all of our, um, our specialist programs in, in terms of what we do with OT and PT and speech and ELL. Um, certainly all the other facets of special education and Mr. Robinson and his staff, uh, Mrs. Fanning included, have done a fantastic job of trying to meet those requirements. All of our school psychs, all of our special ed uh, teachers, and certainly all of our paras have just been working their tails off um, to provide the best possible outcome that we could for the last seven weeks of school, given the, the parameters that we have to work in. Is there a motion to uh, take action on this item? I move that we uh, approve the continual learning plan waiver as presented. Second. Okay, let's do roll call vote since I can't tell who is approving and who isn't. So, uh, Melidia, please say yes or no. Melidia? Yes. Uh, Harold? Yes. Linda? Yes. Susan? 
Yes. Shanda? Yes. And I will vote yes as well. Uh, that passes 6 0. Awesome. Thank you all. And we'll get that sent off to KSDE today. Um, it will have to be, uh, it will go to KSDE um, or KASB's board on April 13th uh, for their approval. And, and there may be some feedback back and forth between now and then. Uh, but for the most part, um, this will be, this will get us where we need to be and we can start moving forward. So we appreciate your help in all of this. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Cobbs, for all your work um, and to the other administration and staff that's put so much time into this. We appreciate it. And that was our only agenda item. Uh, so is there a motion to adjourn today's meeting? So moved. So moved. And we got, a, we got a move by Linda and a second by Harold. I got you there, Harold. There you all go. right. <laughs> Perfect. All in favor, please say yes. 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 Opposed? Say no. Yes. Okay. That passes 6-0. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Appreciate it. Bye.